Today we're taking a look at the DC Direct Blackest Night Series 3 Lar Flea's The Orange Lantern with Glomulus action figure. So stay tuned. Alright guys, welcome back to Come Again TV where all geek culture collides. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Today, we're taking a look at the DC Direct Blackest Night Series 3 Lar Flea's The Orange Lantern with Glomulus action figure. So first things first, let's go ahead and take a look at the Orange Lantern. Just like with the Green Lantern, it's the exact same sculpt, same clear lens in the center, and same problems with the handle. Uh, I'm not going to go over each of the lanterns uh, in depth. Uh, if you'd like to check out my Green Lantern Hal Jordan review from the same uh, DC Direct Blackest Night toy line, I go in further in depth into the uh, actual lanterns, what I liked and didn't like about them. Now let's take a look at Glomulus, the Orange Lantern construct. One of the things about the Orange Lantern lore fleas is anytime another lantern dies or he kills another lantern, he steals their identity and turns them into his Orange Lantern core um, by using constructs. Since he's always in the presence in close proximity to his lantern, he pretty much has unlimited power. Uh, he doesn't have to recharge like uh, other lanterns do. Something, uh, some kind of gunk or whatever on Glomulus's hand. But anyway, th so that's how he can uh, manage to stay at full power and have thousands of Orange Lantern constructs. Uh, Glomulus was, I believe, one of his first... Uh, in the comics as you can see his arms can move all the way around and he has four of them along with three legs his legs can move uh, all the way around turn all the way around um, and that's all three of them he is made out of a clear orange plastic Very, very creepy looking creature. I must say. <laughs> little reference to Ed Grimley. Uh, for those of you old enough to remember Ed Grimley, the Martin Short character from the uh, late 80s, early 90s. He had his own cartoon series uh, for a while. Uh, the Misadventures of Ed Grimley. Um. That was his little, uh, what he would say all the time. He would always say, I must say. <laughs> but very nice looking figure. He's got the orange lantern lo uh, symbol on his uh, belly there. And he does not have a problem standing up at all. Um, and you can even... Pose him kind of in like an attack formation because of his multiple arms and legs. You can pose him like that if you wanted to. Not bad, I must say. <laughs> um, so now let's go over Lar Flea's the Orange Lantern himself. He is the only one, the only Orange Lantern, 
because it's all about avarice, greed. Uh, he will not tolerate another Orange Lantern. In fact, it was a huge thing for him to even allow Lex Luthor to have the have an orange ring during the uh, Blackest Night storyline. In fact, I'm not sure if he allowed it or not. Uh, it is. I'll have to go back and reread it. But I really love the metallic orange paint on this. And you can see the uh, the orange lantern symbol is sculpted into there. As well as the shoulders. Very nice. Um, let me aim this up a little bit. There we go. He is a pretty big figure. A lot bigger than the Hal Jordan figure I just reviewed earlier. Um, very nice. Got all kinds of muscle sculpt in there. They did not uh, skimp on the sculpt. Uh, see the abs there. The ribs. All the chest muscles. Uh, you can make out some individual locks of hair. Very nice. You got his tusks there on the sides. Along with his fangs and his teeth. And now let's go over the articulation. Uh, his head is on a ball joint. Can kind of rock up and down. You can go that far up, that far down, side to side. Uh, arms, standard ball joint, you know, you can go up about that far though. And his arms really are that long, massive arms, very lengthy, lengthy arms. Uh, go up that far. Uh, bicep swivel. Just like with Green Lantern. A hinge at the elbow. And a swivel at the wrist. Just like with Green Lantern. Uh, legs go up to there. Which is a little bit further than what Hal Jordan's did. Uh, can actually go back that far. Uh, he has a different butt sculpt, so it it's kind of shaped like a designed like a thong, pretty much, uh, which is completely different than what Hal Jordan was. Uh, single knee joint and no calf swivel. Uh, and I'm guessing that's because his lower half is all one uh, one piece. No boots to kind of break it up to hide the swivels in. Uh, so anyway, that's Lar Fleece. And he does stand a little bit better on his uh, display base than how Jordan did. Uh, because his, he's got a slender, much slender frame. Um... However, now I have tried to get him to pose with the lantern, um, with him holding it like he would in the comics, and this is pretty much the best you're going to get. That's the only way you're going to be able to pose him. Uh, the closest you're going to get to be able to pose him like he holds the lantern in the comics. Uh, because of his articulation. So anyway, there you have it guys. DC Direct Black as Night Series 3. Laura Flays the Orange Lantern with Glomulus action figure. If you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV. Take care.